Hey everybody, so um, we started learning about clothing and I picked up some awesome library books um, about clothes or that have something to do with clothing and I came across this really cute story. It's called Grandma's Purse. Now a purse can be a part of an outfit and sometimes purses can be very special or mean a lot to somebody. Well, let's go ahead and get started. This is called Grandma's Purse, and it's by Vanessa Brantley Newton. I love these pictures. They're so pretty. Sunglasses can be a part of an outfit, too. Do you have sunglasses? It's so sunny here in Colorado. But I gotta wear sunglasses. Even when it's snowy, huh? Isn't it so bright? It's just so white everywhere that sometimes you just gotta put on some sunglasses. All right, let's get started. Today my grandma Mimi is coming to visit. When Mimi comes over, she always has a new treasure to share. Elvis is joining us for the story. <laughs> He's always in these videos. I can't look away from it. It must be full of magical things. All of the, oh. Elvis, you're moving my laptop. <laughs> it must be full of magical things. All of the things that make my grandma Mimi. See that magical person. Look, there's a cat in this story too. Cats can be so mischievous sometimes, huh? Do you guys have cats at home? They just always like to play with things. Mine likes to scratch his face on my laptop, as you can tell. Will you show me what's inside? <gasps> yes, she will. I keep all kinds of things in my purse. You never know what you'll want to have with you. I use my mirror to see myself before you see me. I use it to put on my lipstick so my lips are ready to give you a big kiss. And you have your smell good, Mimi laughs. Yes, I use my smell good so you know I was here even after I go home. I think she's talking about perfume. And there's that lipstick and mirror. So sometimes um, people like to carry a mirror in their purse along with some lipstick or other kinds of makeup. And then here's a picture, oops, sorry, of her um, spraying some perfume. Do your family members wear perfume? Do you wear perfume? Maybe cologne. <laughs> I keep extra earrings in my purse in case I want to feel extra fancy. And my hairpins keep my hair just so. Those are hairpins right there. This coin purse holds my coins, of course, but it also holds memories. Your grandfather brought it back from Japan for me. So when I do something small like put away change, I do something big and think of him too. having a little tea party it looks like or not a tea party I mean she's um, it looks like a tea party she's holding that coin purse and um, she put like uh, price tags on things so she's she's also wearing those fancy earrings have you noticed that <laughs> and she put the hairpins in her hair oh <gasps> the best thing that grandmas have in their purse candy you never know when you'll need a little treat. Mimi always passes me a piece of candy to suck on in church, right when I start having a hard time paying attention to the pastor. Your phone looks like a toy. It has my friends' phone numbers on it. What else would I need it for? My glasses help me see your pretty face, and this scarf can keep me warm or give me a cushion if I want to rest my head. Or it can make me feel fancy if my earrings don't do it on their own. Oh, 
Do you notice that phone? He said it looks like a toy phone because it snaps. It's like a flip phone, it's called. I bet your parents don't have this phone anymore, right? We just have the ones with the screens. They're just sort of like bricks. Um, but before those phones, there were these phones where they kind of just flipped and they snapped and then they open up. And when you open it up, you got your buttons here and you just had a tiny little screen for your phone number and maybe some text messages. So this is how Mimi gets to be Mimi with everything in her purse. I can be Mimi too. Here's another page with no words. So it looks like she's holding all the things that were in the purse and she put on the scarf and she put on the glasses and she's got the hairpins, she's got the earrings. Oh, she's looking fabulous, huh? She wants to be just like her grandma. Oh, and she's also got lipstick on her lips. Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know if she used the little mirror. Maybe she did. <laughs> Toward the bottom of the bag, I find a sleeve of pictures. At first, only I only recognize one, me. But Mimi shows me who's in the others. There's Mimi a long time ago when she married Papa, and another of my mom when she was my age. She looks like me, only without all of Mimi's accessories. Do you have old family photos in your home? Maybe some of your family members carry some special family photos in their purse. People sometimes like to keep pictures of their kids or their husbands and wives, maybe their parents in their, um, in their purse or wallet. There's one more thing at the very bottom. I couldn't see it until we took out all of Mimi's treasures one by one. It's big and it has my name on it. What is it? A purse of my own. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Her grandma gave her a purse. Oh. And I know what will go in first. What is it? What is she going to put in there first? Let me see. Do you notice it? Do you notice what she put in there? A picture. A picture of her and her grandma. And of course, you can't forget the candy. <laughs> That's really cute. It looks like she's got a little dolly in there too. Do you have a purse? Do you have a wallet? Maybe you have a special bag where you like to keep all of your things. And here's just some pictures there of things that went into her wallet. I mean, her uh, her purse. Maybe it, um, even if you don't have a purse, you can think about what would you put in your purse um, if you had one. And so um, maybe you have something else that's really special to you and not necessarily a purse. What other sort of um, clothing or accessory do you have that you feel really, really, um, uh, that, that you feel a lot of love towards. Maybe you use it every day. Maybe it stays in a special place. Maybe it houses special things, such as pictures or toys or other things that have meaning to you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this story, Grandma's Purse. And yeah, think about some of those questions that I just asked. Okay, bye guys.